Howdy, howdy. Uh, so this is going to be really fun. We're kicking off a, a new unit, uh, doing some new things. What we're focusing on now is cloud communication. Uh, so cloud communication is huge. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that. Uh, the way we're going to teach you to do it is with a tool called Firebase. Uh, so Firebase is a pretty sweet tool. Uh, we're going to learn a lot about it. Uh, the goal of, of this unit, so this unit's going to actually have three apps in it. There's going to be a favorite things app, which is going to be kind of like a simple Firebase app. Uh, there's going to be one with movie quotes, and then your lab is going to be weather picks. In this video, I'm just going to talk about the thing we're going to do first, so this favorite things app. So in this favorite things app, what we're trying to do is we're trying to connect our app uh, to a Firebase backend, and so just kind of see how that's going to work. Uh, and we're going to just practice pushing some data up, uh, and then also actually listening for data from the cloud as well. So just to kind of tell you more about this tool we're going to use, uh, Firebase. Uh, so Firebase is a Google product. So they were a company uh, that existed before Google bought them. Uh, but Google's bought them now. And the website for Firebase is now firebase.google.com. So if you head over to the firebase.google.com, just if you want to see more about them, you can just kind of read some information about Firebase. I will mention that they've only used that URL for a little while. Uh, their old URL, like for when they were a company by themselves, was just firebase.com. And there is still some information like in the docs over there uh, that is better than the, the stuff on the new website. One of the things that makes Firebase cool is that it's uh, amazing. Uh, it's synchronous. It does authentication. It's owned by Google, so you know it's supported. Uh, but it's also cool because it was started by Rose people, right? So Andrew Lee was one of the two co-founders of Firebase. Uh, the first person they hired was another Rose person. Uh, after that, they've continued to hire Rose people, right? So I mean, it's like even in the last couple of years, Mike McDonald went there, uh, Tyler Rockwood went there. Uh, we've got a lot of Rose people at Firebase, which I think is really cool. Uh, so what I wanted to do is just kind of a quick demo, uh, just to kind of show you what we're up to uh, with Firebase. Uh, so let me just switch over to my Firebase console. Uh, so that's this guy. Actually, that's this guy, console.firebase.google.com. It's like as many um, sub-addresses as they can get, right? Um, and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting an app uh, to this back end. Uh, so this back end, what it's got is it's just got two pieces of data. It's got what's your favorite color uh, and what's your favorite number. And what we're going to do is we're going to have those two things just talk to an app. Uh, so the app we're making is, is simple and trivial. I mean, that's how you kind of start learning things. Uh, so the idea is that this app can push things to Firebase. So if I click red uh, in my simulator, uh, you can see that it actually changes on the, the back end. So it changes on this website. I know it doesn't feel like much now because it's all like one computer. But if you wanted to really test this, you'd have like multiple devices and you'd see how this one pushes it up to the cloud and this one can see it. Uh, but you can see that you can push things up to the cloud. That's kind of what we're showing first. Uh, and then you can also update values from Firebase. So if I click on update, you can see it went to blue. So I can push red, uh, and then I can say update from Firebase, uh, and it goes red. You could also do things to where you change it, like on the back end. So if I say, hey, make it green, uh, and then over to my app, I say update from Firebase, um, it pulls down that green value. And then likewise, we're going to show you how that, that one's doing a manual pull. That's not normally how Firebase works. We're going to show you how you can just kind of like always be listing things first. So for here, it's just an increment, uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, and then if I change it over here, uh, I kind of want to bring both up at the same time. I'm not sure a good way to do that. Uh, but if I change it over here, let's say I put it back to zero, uh, it just changes over here right away. So this is real time database, right? So you're sending a message up to the cloud uh, and then it instantly knows about it. All right, I'll go ahead and get them on the screen together. So if I say 42, I uh, enter on the website, you can see that my app changed just, just like that, right? So a really cool product uh, that we're going to be working with to show you Firebase. I think it's going to be really useful in your projects, uh, and I hope you love it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, cut off this little demo, uh, and let's get started with this thing in the next video. See you then. Bye.